Hello and welcome to Deep Brain Chain. In this video we will cover staking through super node voting. We will touch on creating a wallet, creating a nominator, managing your balance and bonding, fees, nominating a validator, calculating reward percentage, epochs and eras, and payouts. To start you can go to dbcwallet.io. You can create an account through the UI but it's highly recommended to use the polka.js extension. I'm going to create a new account. When you create a new account, you are provided a mnemonic seed. It is very important that you store this seed and the accompanying password in a safe place. Once I've stored this somewhere else, I can continue. I'm going to give my account a name and a password. Again, making sure I store the password somewhere safe. Now that my account has been created, I can go back to dbcwallet.io and refresh. And my injected account is available. The next step is to add a balance so we can continue. Now that I have received my DBC balance in my new account, I can continue. I will first set an on-chain identity. I'm also going to leave that as DBC for now. And I need to sign and submit. When you do transactions like this, there is an accompanying fee in micro DBC. A micro DBC is one millionth of a DBC, so 100 micro DBC is 0 0.00001 DBC. The fees are fairly small. I'm going to click Sign and Submit. This will open up my Polkadot extension. I will type in my password, and I can choose to remember my authentication for 15 minutes. Then I sign the transaction. We can now see I have an on-chain identity and it cost me a small fraction of a DBC. Now I'm going to go to network staking. Here I can see all the validators that are active for today. An era is one day, an epoch is four hours. New validators are selected each day. We can scroll through active validators to select validators we would like to nominate. There are also validators under waiting that could be selected for the next era. Once I see validators I like, I will go to account actions we need to add my account as a nominator, so I'm going to click Add a nom Add Nominator. And we need to bond a certain amount. You need to leave some DBC unbonded so you can pay for transactions in micro DBC. In this case, we will just bond one full DBC and leave the fraction of a DBC available for fees. You can also choose a different controller account but for this example, we are just going to keep the same account for both the stash and controller. It's also important to know that if you bond an amount of DBC and want to unbond it later to transfer it to a different account or pay fees, it will take up to 14 days to unbond. Now, with our new nominator account, we can choose different validators. After I've selected a couple of validators, I can choose to bond and nominate. Now that the nomination has processed, I can go back to Network Account Actions and see which validators I have nominated. Since I just nominated these validators, they will not be active until the next era. 
if they are selected in the top 21 validators, then I will receive rewards from those validators. The rewards I receive from a validator are based on the percentage of stake I have compared to the overall stake of that validator. For example, if a validator has a total stake of 1 million DBC and I have staked 100,000 DBC, I get 10% of the rewards. So if that validator receives 12,000 DBC for the era and I get 10%, I shall receive 1,200 DBC. However, if they have a commission set, let's say 10%, 10% is removed from my reward and given to the validator. So my 1200 DBC will pay a commission of 120 DBC and I will receive 1080 DBC. With that in mind, I can choose another validator to add Nominating several validators is a good idea as it increases your chances to have a nominated validator for each era. If I scroll down the list and find a validator I like with a reasonable commission and a reasonable amount of stake, I can favorite it so it will be at the top of my list. I then go back to Account Actions and Set Nominees. Here we can see the two validators I've already selected and the validator I'd like to add. I select nominate, sign and submit, and again enter my password into the Polkadot extension. At the end of each era, payouts are available. Under network staking payouts, I will be able to see any payouts that are pending. And that is the basics with staking and supernode voting for DeepBrain Chain.